All right, in this unit, we're going to be looking at adding UVs to these very simple shapes. So you're going to be given these very simple shapes and expected to put UVs on them. Now the UVs in this unit are just going to be a checkerboard pattern uh, as far as the texture is concerned, but that same checkerboard pattern must be uniformed across all meshes, all right? And it's very important that we have that uh, that way scale matches all the way through the meshes and resolution matches all the way through the meshes. So in order to get started we're going to need this checkerboard pattern. Now there's a couple ways to make this. I'm going to show you in Photoshop how to make it though because it's by far the easiest method to view on a student's computer. Okay. So to get started you'll have this scene open and again, this is going to be like unit one IP start. This is going to be within the package of files given to you. So please find this package. Okay. Once you have that package, open it up in Maya and then open up Photoshop. All right, to get started, we're going to be looking at a brand new document. And the new document is going to be in the power of two. Now the power of two is you know, um, a mathematical formula that's used in video games a lot. Uh, it's been since the dawn of time. You know this to be true because we have like what, 16 bit or 16 uh, by 16. And then there's 32 by 32, 64 by 64. Are these numbers kind of correlating? Because uh, there was 16-bit operating systems, there's 64-bit operating systems. Um, it goes up to 128, 256, 512, 1024, and 4096. And currently in the market, we're in about the 4096 to 2048 market as far as textures are concerned. Uh, these numbers divide into themselves. So if we take uh, 24 by 2048 by 2048, it will uh, equal 4096 by 4096. So just think of these as not magical numbers, but they are in they're in that power of two that is easy to calculate for all computers, all game consoles, everything like that. So. There is many other reasons that we use them, but for right now, know that we're going to be using them all the time. And for this texture, we're going to be looking at a very low res at first to make a pattern and using that to make a higher pattern. Okay, so we're going to go turn back the clock and make a, uh, a 128 by 128 texture. I mean, this is like back in, oh, 80s maybe? <laughs> so... 128 by 128. It's a very small texture. And then we're going to go like this. We're going to take this ruler. So you can go view rulers. As soon as my system becomes unsaturated stuck here. Oh, there we go. Cool. So you can go view rulers. And with the rulers set, we can drag these out to the very center of the document. Okay, so we're going to take the marquee tool, click and drag, and we're going to put some kind of color here. I use like a dark gray and a light gray. I used to use black and white, but it really hurts your eyes, so now I start using dark gray and a light gray. And we're just making a checkerboard here. So I'm taking the marquee tool, going like that. And for the lighter gray, I choose something like this. Please stick with uh, the grays. Don't use color for the class or anything like that. Um, for reasons I have I don't want annoying textures to look at. So here's this. We're going to turn this into a pattern. So I take the marquee tool, click and drag, and go edit. And then there's going to be define pattern. I'll usually call this 128 pattern or 128 UV. All right. 
So what we're going to do is upscale it a little bit. We're going to go to a new document. And in this document, we're going to be using 1024. Now, I'm using 1024 because it's a lower res document than 2048, of course. So, and that will make it so it's really fast on any student's computer. So 1024 by 1024. Always with the resolution of 72. Okay, with this activated, I'm just going to go over to the Fill tool and go like this. Pattern. And I'm going to choose that last pattern. As you can see, I taught this class a few times, and I have this over and over again. So There we go. So that's the pattern we're going to be using. And what I need to do is save that out. So File, Save As. We're going to be using TGAs for the class. Okay, It's a texture format that's commonly used in most game engines. And I'm going to be calling this UV Texture. And a lot of times I put CM after that for color map. So you'll see color map a lot in this class. And I'll save it as Targa TGA. Go ahead and save it. And I'm going to save it as 24 bits. All right, with that activated, with that saved, everything else, I need you to go on to the next video where we start looking at bringing that texture into Maya and then starting to apply it to meshes.